Hello, hello, hello. Autoimmune Prepper here. How's everyone doing on this fabulous New Year's Eve? I hope everyone is staying safe. If you're going to go out and party, make sure you do it safely. Me, I'm going to enjoy bringing in the New Year's Eve in my house where I know I'm going to be safe. If this is your first time visiting my channel, let me say welcome. Thank you for visiting. I encourage you to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, you already know. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank everyone who has ever taken the time to make um, a comment in the comment section on my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Keep up the good work. I encourage everybody as usual to give my videos a thumbs up. I'm continuing to try and grow this channel. Seems like I'm teetering around 600 or so subscribers. I don't know if YouTube normally deletes um, what I'm thinking of. De deletes subscribers if they're not active. I think something like that happens. Excuse that little noise in the background. That's my phone and it's way over there. And I do not feel like getting up to go and get it. It'll stop ringing in a second. Oh, it just stopped ringing. And I did not want to interrupt my video. Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought just that quick. But so what I want to do is today, if you have not already done so, reflect back over the year 2021. Look at your accomplishments. If you were just getting into prepping, good for you. If over that year you learned how to pressure can like I did, good for you. If you continue to stock up on canned goods and food, good for you. If you picked up any other new skills, uh, regardless as to what they were, good for you. If you were able to start a new job, good for you. So just take the time to reflect on this past year. If you've had to let some people go, good for you because you know we have to release what no longer serves us. We don't want to take anything that's not serving us into next year or into your future period so you also want to if you haven't already done so write out your goals for 2022 so you can take off running so i already have my goal list set i am well on my way i have some great things going on so I am very ecstatic. I'm very happy right now. And that's the other thing. You want to keep your energy high. You want to keep your attitudes positive to the best of your abilities. Now, sometimes I know it's easier said than done. And you get tired of people telling you, stay positive, just stay happy, just think happy thoughts. I know sometimes you want to be like, shut up with that already. But I find it personally to be true, at least in my instance. But, you know, you just have to do what works for you. I know every day we can't, every day can't be roses and berries. I get that. But I'm a firm believer you stay on the more positive side more positive things can flow to you. And again, for next year, if you're not a giver, maybe you want to look into being a giver. Um, so many people are experiencing a lot of hardships. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have experienced a lot of hardships over the past year. So hopefully 
things will look up for them going into this new year and turn some things will turn around for them um, that definitely is my prayer and once again <clears throat> one of the goals that i have is to start uh, something along the lines of a motivational uh, channel so i'm excited about that i already have a few uh, subject matters that i would like to um, throw in there or talk about speak on so we'll see how it goes i also want to continue to grow this channel so i'm gonna have to start looking at some other areas or some other ways on um, how i can grow the channel but i need you guys' help also so if you like the content um help me out by thumbs up by leaving comments and by sharing my videos um i would greatly appreciate that i see several well i've seen a few um, other content creators that probably will no longer do videos anymore and you have to know it, it takes a lot out of you to do videos for you know for some people um some people get on here like clockwork just like you watching the everyday news and i love those channels that do that because they give us so much information that is where i get 95 99 percent of my information i'm not really a big mainstream uh news channel watcher anymore got rid of that years ago so i'm grateful for all of the channels that um do put out relevant uh correct content information for us to know what's going on in the world because other than that there's so much going on i mean you just can't catch it all so that's why i watch several different channels and i learned something from each one of those channels that i watch now i don't bring news to you all like that because that's just not my lane i don't know if something gets in my spirit and directs me to do something like that then maybe but I don't really see uh, me going in that direction, and I'm not at this time anyway. But again, there are a lot of um, other good channels out there that bring us that information. A lot of people say it's a bunch of doom and gloom. The only thing I can say is it is what it is. I mean, we can't act like things are not going on. They are. Um, we may not want to hear about it every day, but it's not going anywhere. So, um, my thing is, it's better to have the knowledge so that way you can um, be prepared, which is why we are preppers, right? So, don't look at it as doom and gloom. Change your mindset about that. Look at it as um, some great information coming to you. Look at it as you are way ahead of the game um much further than uh most it still just baffles me as to how many people just are oblivious and i mean oblivious to what is going on they just they just think things are not um affecting them but everything that goes on around here affects everybody in some shape form or fashion right so just keep in mind and if you have family members or friends that are in your circle love hard because people are also leaving this earth like left and right too They're going to be with their maker um, I have a friend who just lost her mom um, yesterday morning so love hard um live your life the best that you can right now don't wait till tomorrow 
I know a lot of people said New Year's resolutions and all of that type of stuff. But what you, yeah, what you want to do is, you know, if you have loved ones, if you have goals, you have dreams, you have something in the pipeline that you want to do, don't hesitate. What is the saying? Haste makes waste. So don't be hasty. Uh, what's that? You, you snooze, you lose. So no snoozing. Wake up and get to being about your business of getting things done. So just look forward. Don't be afraid of 2022. Be mindful and be uh, conscious of what's going on. And just put yourself in a position to where you can be as ready as you can be. So you have to take what you have, work with it. And make things go your way. Anyway, I just wanted to come and wish everybody a happy new year. And you definitely will see me in 2022. I am not throwing in the towel. I will still be around. And again, your help will be greatly appreciated. Thumbs up the videos. Share the videos, comment in the comment section, all of that good stuff. Okay, once again, be safe and I will see you next year. Oh, don't forget, I always forget to say this sometimes, shame on me. Wake up and start every day with an attitude of gratitude. We have got to be grateful, okay? See you later. Bye.